the family of Our Lady of Zion celebrated the 175th anniversary of the founding of the congregation as well as their long history on Friday, January 20. It all began in 1842 when the Jew Alfonso Radisbon received a revelation. Ele buscava um pouco o sentido à vida, à sua vida, e um momento dado ele descobre Deus. Isso é Deus se revela através. He was trying to give meaning to his life when he suddenly received a revelation of God through Mary. He first became a Christian and later a priest. Together with his brother, also a priest, he interpreted the signs that God had sent him. Since then, little by little, he began to organize groups which later formed the Congregation of Our Lady of Zion. For the occasion, the Apostolic Administrator of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Monsignor Pierre Battista Pizabala, presided a Mass in the Chapel of Radisbon in Jerusalem. In his homily, Monsignor Pizabala placed emphasis on the commitment of the congregation in promoting dialogue, a special mission, especially in the Holy Land. Nossos fundadores eram judeus. Our founders, who were of Jewish origin, found in Jesus Christ the Messiah promised to their people. So we soon learned to give life to this dialogue, not only within Christianity, but also with other religions. A community that flourished and gradually spread around the world. The congregation is on all continents. It was created in France. Being here to celebrate in this very chapel built by him is consonant with his wish, since Jerusalem was the dream of his life. The congregation also has a contemplative female branch. Je pense que la caractéristique de notre branche contemplative, une des caractéristiques. I believe one of the characteristics of the contemplative branch is certainly a sense of history that takes us to the day of reconciliation, when Christ will be everything to everyone and Israel will find its place. Despite the passage of time, the charism of the congregation remains the same. O carisma se atualiza buscando uh, como nos pede o Vaticano. A charism can be renewed by pursuing a return to the roots, as the Second Vatican Council inspires us to do. Returning to the roots for renewal could seem contradictory, but every charism is able to renew itself and to renew the truth when it does not lose the vision of its founders and when the members of the congregation manage to live in the present. Estamos sempre atualizados e atualizando. A nossa realidade.